Hello everyone, this is Pratik Bedi from Department of Financial Studies, University of Delhi. I hope all of you are doing well and welcome to this video wherein uh, we will be discussing basics of e-views and in this particular tutorial, we will be specifically focusing on the idea of inputting data into e-views. So let's start. Now to begin with some initial thoughts. Uh, well, on a lighter note, I believe that there are four things that you need in order to learn a software. Firstly, you know, dealing with the logistics, you first of all need a laptop or a desktop. You need the software itself and you also need uh, electricity. And uh, then you need a good teacher who can do the basic uh, ice breaking of the software with you. Uh, then obviously confidence and self-belief. You need to actually believe that you can learn a software and it is not an impossible task. And finally, Google. Google, I, I believe, is one of uh, the best personal assistants that you can ever get, which is available at your disposal all the time, free of cost. So, moving forward, let's get started with the eViews and let's learn how we can input data into eViews. So, well, this is the desktop of my laptop, and this is the software that we'll be working on, eViews 8. So, let's now start off by double clicking on the software in order to open it all right so let's now look at this uh, dialog box now this is the dialog box with which eviews generally greets you and uh, it actually allows you to open the files with which you would like to work so for the time being we'll simply close this dialog box because we'll be actually opening the file that we need to work on from this option called file. So let's, uh, before we move forward, let's simply enlarge the screen. And now, if I click on file, now there is an option called open. So if I click on this option, there are multiple tabs that I have and I need to click on this second tab called foreign data as work file. Now, why are we using this particular option? Because we'll be using an Excel file in order to input data into eViews and Excel file is actually a foreign file for eViews. So let's, let's simply click on this option foreign file as foreign Excel file. And um, now, this is the path which I have already assigned to eViews in order to open data files and uh, if you want you can update it and you can actually take eViews to a particular location in your computer where all your data files are stored and the location that you specify will be the location at which eViews will definitely take to you whenever you want to open any file by clicking on foreign data as work file. So now to start with, let's begin with the cross-sectional data. We will be working on time series as well. But let's start off with the cross-sectional data and I'll be opening this file called cross-sectional data dividend and sales. So I'll simply double click on it and let's see what happens. So now this is the first window which appears. Let's have a look uh, what all options, uh, options do we have here. Now the first is um, predefined range. Now Excel is a workbook and it has different worksheets so I need to decide that which worksheet do I want to work on and currently if I click on this option you see I have two worksheets financial data and salary data so I would like to work on financial data so I choose that and uh, then I simply click on next. Now header line. Now as I can see that in my excel file the first line is actually the header of each column so it actually has particulars as to what data has been stored in a particular column and this heading only corresponds to the first row so that is why this option of one is completely valid for our data because the headers are only mentioned in row number one okay then this is something that we need to check data type now if I click on this particular column and uh, you can very well see that uh, eViews is intelligent enough to identify that this is uh, text 
and it is not number so that is why it is showing us the value character in data type and then if I click on total income you can see that again eViews is intelligent enough to understand that this is number and so on and so forth for all the other variables that I have Excel is itself recognizing them as numbers which is which is fine with me because that is what I want so before you know starting off our analysis we must check that whether Excel oh, sorry whether eViews is reading the data in a particular format which suits us all right so let's move forward next now just have a look at this structure of the data now since we are working on cross-sectional data the data is unstructured the data is undated so this is completely fine so uh, eViews has also identified the data structure correctly and there are other options we'll uh, have a look at them later on so undated is fine with me and as you can see that um, eViews is also showing me the number of observations that I have in this data set which is 116 good so now I can simply click on finish and this is what I get this is my work file window now as you can see that all the variables which were available in the Excel sheet which I had opened all those variables have now appeared here and what if uh, I want to have a look at uh, a particular variable I simply have to double click on it so let's say amount of dividend is one of my variables and this is the series that I get so you can see all the values are appearing here and if I go down I can see that there are a total of 116 observations which is, which is completely fine with me okay so I close this so in this manner you can have a look at uh, any of the variables that you want to and that too in uh, that that too in a spreadsheet format so as you can see this is a spreadsheet format so I close this now other than the variables that are mentioned in the Excel sheet there are two additional variables that we can see here one is this sorry yeah one is this which is the constant now whenever we run a regression and we you we actually introduce uh, an intercept in that so after running the regression the intercept value appears here and in fact other than that the coefficients the beta values of uh, other variables uh, that are assigned uh, after a regression is run you know those also appear here so currently we haven't run uh, we, ha we haven't actually run a regression so that is why this uh, sheet is empty as you can see so this C stands for the intercept term in our regression all right and the other additional variable which is available here is resid now since regression is a stochastic model and um, it has an error term it is a random model so after running a regression we get a residual series we get series of an error term in our regression so this variable has been added by eViews on its own in order to include all those error terms which shall appear after we run a particular regression in eViews alright so this is all about uh, cross-sectional data and if you want to let's say save this work file you can simply click on save and if you want to save it with double precision that is 16 digit accuracy so just click OK and that's it and the path which you have identified as to where you want to store all your files uh, eViews will definitely store this particular work file there and the idea of actually uh, saving a work file is that uh, next time you do not have to actually open your data via this route of open foreign file so you, you actually don't need to open your data uh, in the excel format you can simply double click on this work file where it is, sh where it is saved and you can uh, simply open it in the eViews format directly in one shot so let's close this for now and let's now have a look at how do we input time series data into eViews so again we go to file open 
foreign data foreign data work file well now uh, you know just to apprise you of the fact that there are multiple options in order to import uh, data in e views so another option is this import import from file so here also you just have to uh, go to a particular lo particular location in uh, in you know which your file is stored so what we will we'll actually not have, we'll actually not discuss this uh, because it is just a repetitive uh, way of doing the same thing so let's let's simply click on foreign data as work file and this time we will open this file called let's say okay time series stock and indices return this is this is a time series data that we shall open so i'll simply click on this file and now again this window appears so let's see uh, again you know there are uh, different worksheets in a particular workbook so let's see again i have two worksheets in this particular workbook and uh, i would like to work with return data so i simply click on that and i move forward all right so now header type names only uh, you know there are just names and nothing else so this is fine and uh, the headers are also limited only up till row number 1 so nothing to change here as of now now this data type down in in actually uh, in time series this is uh, even more important because uh, we actually need e views to identify the date series out of all the variables that we are working on so now if i click on date as you can see date is highlighted and data type again you know e views is intelligent enough to identify that this is the date series so that is why it is, that is why it is showing as date so now these are uh, securities different securities infosys lnt ongc and again uh, you know x uh, the the software e views is intelligent enough to identify that uh, these are returns so these are numbers and uh, i can just have a cursory look at all of these variables so yeah e views is reading them as numbers which is which is completely fine with me this is what i want moving on okay so now again basic structure is very very important we need to check this now again you can see that uh, e views is recognizing this entire data structure as dated and specified by date series and this is what i want i need e views to read this particular column of dates in the date format so that i can run time series regression and i can apply all the tools related to, related to time series regression on my data so this is fine and in fact if you have a look at this frequency daily seven day week so you know uh, uh, e views is also recognizing that this data is daily data and this also uh, uh, happens in advanced versions of uh, e views e views 9 e views 10 uh, but not in older versions than 8 so e views 7 won't be able to recognize this uh, in e views 7 you will have to actually input and tell e views that uh, what is the frequency of the uh, data that you are using but anyway we are working on e views 8 so it is recognizing itself that's good for us let's click on finish and this is the list of variables that we get again by clicking on any variable we can have a look at the values of that particular variable c again is empty as of now because we haven't run any regression and let's have a look at resid resid is also empty and n n all right so we can in fact even save this particular work file okay and this work file also gets saved at the pre specified location which we have given to e views so this is how easy to input data into e views from excel files and this is the general root general uh, mechanism that we use so yes we have actually learnt in this video how to input data into e views and before we end this video closing thoughts mistakes are the portals of discovery so do not be afraid of making mistakes in fact keep doing something keep making mistakes keep learning and keep moving ahead thank you for your time this is prateek bedi signing off have a great day ahead thank you